Hey everyone, my name is Jenna Redfield and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be walking through an update to my 2023 ADHD Life Tracker Notion template. Now I have been having, I've had this template for almost a year now available, so there has definitely been some big updates and I've just decided to kind of redo a lot of it. So I wanted to walk through how I use it in 2023 for myself, as well as what it looks like if you buy the actual template. So let's just get started. Um, I will want to say that the biggest update it obviously is the subtask feature which just got released a couple weeks ago um, and I also just redid a lot of the roll-ups I think there was too many roll-ups I think the roll-ups I was roll-up crazy for a while and I think it got very confusing even for me using my own template so I got rid of a lot of the roll-ups and just made it so that it was all in one template it's kind of hard to explain I'll go through it but basically I've just simplified it for the people using the template so if you've already purchased the template you can download the new version all you have to do is find the original link and you should be able to duplicate it again so this is I guess this is probably v2 of of this template but I just wanted to go through how I use it and how you can use it as well so let's just get to it all right so now we are here inside of the ADHD life tracker daily command center this is the new version of the template for 2023 that I've been selling for over a year and made some major updates the two biggest updates I've made in this template is the addition of subtasks as well as I've redesigned how I use the daily tracker I used to use a ton of rollups and multiple different databases, but that got very, very overwhelming, not just for me to actually keep updating it all the time, but also for the people using it. It just wasn't intuitive. And so I have changed it and made it a lot easier for people to use, which I'm very excited about. So I wanted to kind of walk through this beginning part. So if you have watched any of my videos in the past, you probably noticed that I continue to do the same sort of setup. I use August Bradley's pillar system. I have now set it up so that it is a, a subtask view. So if I were to make a, a, a table view of this board, you'll see now that there are three parent items, home, growth, and business, and you can see that they all are drop downs. That was not that way before. Before I had filtered it by tags, now I'm filtering it by parent items. And I've started doing that more with all of my boards. Um, you can learn more about that in the subtasks video that I made, as well as I did a actual subtasks walkthrough, which is available. You have to sign up with your email, but you can get access to that. It's a really, really great video. It's about 45 minutes. I really walk through subtasks. So if you haven't gotten into subtasks yet, make sure to grab that below. It's free. You just have to sign up with your email to get access to the replay because it was a live training. So you can see here that these are the 13 different pillars that um, basically house all of the different things in my life. So we've got business growth and home, and then within those there's different items. So for business projects, these are all the projects that I'm working on now. They're the things I'm doing for my business. It could be for you, a personal project, whatever you want to do. However, one of the things I've changed with this is I have added, again, subtasks and parent items. So the parent items now are current projects, future projects, and project management. So now I've got, these are more of the resources that you can use. For example, a list of all the apps that you use. I also have projects that aren't currently in development, but might be in the future, as well as your current projects. And you can delete these, add your own, whatever you want. This is how I personally plan all my projects, is I have them, um, all my current projects, the things I'm working on, and then inside each of them, I have all the things I need to know, contacts, that sort of thing. All right, the next pillar is client operations. This includes things like your CRM. So one of the things that I've set up for myself is, I have now set up subtasks where I organize it by year. So you can see the drop down. I have 2022 contacts, 2023 contacts. For example, like I work with a client last year. They're not a current client, so I'll put them in the 2022 contacts. That way you have, you know, the information that you need about them and all the information, email, status, etc., is available for you in your, I guess, CRM if you're a business owner. With content calendar, this is available as a as an add-on. So you can buy this for $15 or you can just get the bundle and get it all in one. Then we've got the health and fitness, which we'll be going through in a second when we talk about groceries as well as the meals and recipes. Mental clarity, so this is like your you know, emotions, mental health, ADHD, that sort of thing. Anything that you want to store in those. And again, you can add your own items to the Mind Expansion Learning. This is where everything is originally stored and you can see, again, it's now got the subtasks option. So I've, I've made all of the top parent items the names of the pillars. 
So you almost don't even need the pillars anymore. I might eventually get rid of them because now I can just use the top level of the database to be the pillar. Um, I don't, I'm probably not going to walk through all these. You can go through them when you download the template. The biggest one in here is probably the entertainment one where we have things like movies. If I go into movies, you'll see that we have different, you know, drop downs. You can add things like, let's just add comedy, right? You can add, you can add, I like to do it by genre. So let's think of a comedy Step Brothers or something, whatever movies that you want to track, you know, have you seen it? That sort of thing. It's available here. Home and household. I've also sorted it by parent items like fashion. We've got accessories, jewelry, all of that. So that is available here. We will go through in a second the products and assets, which is the biggest uh, one on here. Um, but that's something else. So you can see we've got the embeds here, and then we'll move down to the daily tracking. So one of the first things that you'll see is the shopping list. These are the things that you need to buy. Eventually, once you buy it, you can move it into the product and asset folder. So what I've done with this one is I've also added the subtask. So if I want to organize everything by type, so I have health and fitness items I need to buy, a resistance band, an exercise bike, cut co knives for my kitchen. Then you've got the home and household. You've got all the different things. I've got a hat, you know, cardigan, whatever. This is how you can actually organize your shopping list by item, right, by, by topic. So that's how I do it now. Um, and I've changed that in the template for the grocery shopping and meal planner. This now gets into the big changes that I've made for the actual template. So before, let me let me go into it so you guys can see. So I have it um, viewed this way so you can see by date. I don't usually do that view. Actually, let's do this one. So you can see by date, um, let's go to January and then we'll go down to today's date. Actually, let's do tomorrow's date just so that you can see a new one. So if we go to Feb, actually, let's go to February 2nd. All right, let's open a new one. <clears throat> so you'll see it's a much, much more clean, clear setup. So now the first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to click here. You're going to click daily routine. This is a template that you can change and edit yourself as well. But you can see that now we have a bunch of things. This is the morning routine, right? And then this is the evening routine. We also have things like journal entry here, as well as gratitude. All of this used to be in separate different databases and it just got so overwhelming for me, as well as the people probably using the template. So I've really, really, really condensed it. So you can just go through your day, be like, have I done all these things? You know, you can check this in the morning, just go to your date. I think it's, it's easy to sort everything by date. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna see what your to-do list. This actually relates over to your to-do list. So let's just say my goal today is to read Atomic Habits, right? I now have that. And if I go over to this, you'll see it's now related to that date. So there's, again, it's a lot of relations. The goals, let's just say the goal is to hit 10,000 on Twitter, whatever it is. Whatever your goal is, that's something that you're aiming for today with the items that you're doing. We also have the meal tracking. So if I want to type in oatmeal, right? Oatmeal, you can add whatever items you want. Again, this is already in that database that I've already filled out. So you can add your own items but this is how you would track it in the daily tracker. You can also change your mood. So it kind of helps you know, where are you at? We've also got things like outfits. So, um, you know, let's just say black shirt, right? I've got a black shirt on, whatever it is, you can track your outfits that way. Now, when I go over to my black shirt, you'll see that it was, you know, wh whichever day I wore that shirt, it allows you to track how often you're wearing the things that you own. Steps. This is the steps that you take every day. So if I do 5,000 steps, I've actually set it up so that your goal is 10,000. So you'll see where you're at at the end of the day. I've also got vitamins. So if I type in like uh, fish oil, right, you can track your vitamins. And then the last one is your weight. So I use a smart scale every day. So I could just, you know, look at my scale. Um, I also can use, I use like a, a, a system that sends it to my computer so I can just have like a list of all the stuff. So one thing to note is that now you can see the entire, you know, month this way. So you can see everything like this. So you can see for me, these are the main things I wanted to track my to-do list, my meals, my outfits, my mood, my steps, my vitamins and my weight. And then individually each day I have things like journal entries and gratitude. That to me was the biggest things I needed to track. So that's what I personally, so that's what I personally decided to do for this template and to make updates with it. Especially with the subtask, this is gonna be so much easier to look at it in, in table view. Um, you can also see it in like calendar view.
And then within this, you can also choose what you want to show, right? So you could see the steps. So you could show your mood, you know, you can show all the things that you want to see. I wasn't able to do this before with the old one. So this is really exciting. You can see all the different outfits. You can see whatever you want in more of a monthly view as well. And eventually once they update the Notion calendars, it's going to be even cooler. You can also see the, uh, the daily glance as well. So, so if I go back, so that's kind of a big update. So now when I sort on the home page, you'll see I have the options right here. I have the daily life tracker and habits template. I've got the weight and the steps here. So if I, if I erase this, right, let's just say this was a brand new day. This is today's date. I would type it in and then that would automatically get added to this template. Same with the groceries. Um, I have the groceries and supplements. This is filtered, so it's only showing items where the status is grocery list. If I wanted to, I could go in here. You can see that I've organized everything also now by, by type, which was not like that before. It's making it a lot easier. But let's just say like I'm out of, you know, let's say I'm out of samosas, right? All I do is switch it off to grocery list, and then you'll see now it's there. So for me, this is a very, very easy way to quickly find the things I'm looking for from the home page. So if I needed to make a change with my grocery list, I just click here. Um, I also have all the meals and recipes, the meal planner. So again, this is just filtered by today's date, it should be. And then I've got the meal plan for the rest of the week. So you can see today, tomorrow. So if you wanna start planning out your meal, you can literally plan out the rest of the year if you want. And then you can see it that way. There's literally a million ways you can do this. You can add a, you can add like a, a calendar view here as well if you'd like. There's just a lot of different things you can do. All right, let's move into business projects. So again, this is just another view of the business projects organized by the parent item. I've also got the daily to-do list. So this is where it's filtered by today. And then I have all the tasks that I have added to my to-do list. This is another view of that. So I have it now sorted by the top area. So I have it sorted by kind of the general goal. So for example, one of it is improve social life. So one of the things I wanna do is attend a networking event. Does that make sense? So you kind of drop it down and then I have the steps to take even further. So subtasks have been a huge thing. I'm probably gonna do another video just on to-do lists now that it's been changed. Uh, but that's one thing to look at and is now part of this new update to the template. I also, you can see this is filtered by the day, so I can just see today's stuff. So if I wanted to, it's a quick access to just today's daily tracker. Um, and then also down here, I've got things like the brain. So these are all the different databases within the entertainment area. Actually, I'm going to put that here so it's easier to know. So basically, I have podcasts, movies, TV shows, books, YouTube, etc. So you can see what you're currently watching. So all of these are filtered so that it's current or in progress. And then if you just want to go to the actual database, all you do is click on it. And this is again, within the entertainment pillar. So everything is kind of interlinked, you just kind of have to play around and figure out where everything is. Um, and all of the main databases are within these. With, it's actually all within this, this mind expansion. All of the original databases are here. So if you wanna go through that and figure out where everything is. The last section that we have on this uh, daily tracker template is we have it sorted by type of time of day. So if you're just like, oh, it's lunchtime, I wanna go here. You can also see that we have you know, the views. So if I wanted to, you can add other items here. So I could add other meals, that sort of thing. Um, we've also got, let's see, the morning routine. I have like a, like a playlist that I've embedded. Um, you can, this is just an example. You can make your own. Um, I've also got things like savers. So these are silence, affirmations, visualization. This is all your morning routine. If you want to do the daily life tracker glance, you can go through and this should be filtered by today. Date is today. And then we've also got, you know, another way to look at your products and assets. I've sorted them by, you know, bedroom type. So if you're looking specifically for that, you can go into the products and assets folder. Again, you can see the gallery view of all the items that you own. If you'd like to organize them by group, let's do parent item. So now we have them organized. We've got you know, bedroom items, we've got garage, kitchen, whatever it is that you like to organize. That's another way to do that. Let's go back to the main database. 
so that is the update to the Notion ADHD Life Tracker template. I think that this is a great update. I've made it a lot easier to find things and easier to use, as well as it includes all the things that were still there from the beginning. And I haven't really gotten rid of anything that beyond just some of the relational databases that made it a little confusing. So I hope that this is a much easier and simpler way to go through your day, track all the things that you need to. You can obviously go in and change and edit it however you want for yourself. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this walkthrough for 2023. I will probably do a longer video where I go through my personal one. This is just going through the template. And then also I'm going to be doing another video where I show some of my fun and crazy Notion templates. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.